G'day everyone, Mark Carthew here and welcome to Children's Book Week 2020 with the theme of Curious Creatures and Wild Minds. And it just so happens that many of my books focus on interesting and curious creatures, a bit like my dragon over here or my moose over there. But behind me, I've also got the Dingle Dangle Jungle, and it's my latest picture book, and it's illustrated by Dave Atsy and published by Ford Street. And a big shout out to Ford Street because their picture book uh, by Chris McSkimmy, which is called I Need a Parrot, has won the picture book of the year 2020. So congratulations to all those people on the list over there, you can see the big poster. I'm sure your teachers have talked to you about that. And really exciting, it's a, big, it's a big week for authors and illustrators all around Australia. This year, of course, has been a bit different and many of us have um, not been able to travel around and visit schools like we always do. But uh, hopefully next year will be a lot easier to do that. Behind me, you can see some interesting characters and I hope you can see them up here. I'll go get one. This one here is a little golden lion tamarind and it's a curious creature that lives in the Amazon rainforest. So the Dingle Dangle Jungle is all about those amazing creatures that live in that wonderful environment. You can see some behind me, a speckled, spectacled bear, a sloth, one of my favourites, and I know Mr Kelly, he loves sloths as does many of the teachers, I think, at Berwick Lodge Primary School. Miss Weber and I think um, Mrs Wright particularly loves sloths. But I'm going to read you that. I'll put them back up here. Let's put them there. Put them up there. Oh, there he goes. He's gone. But I'm going to read you up. It's called The Dingle Dangle Jungle. And it's by me, Mark Carthew, and illustrated by Dave Atsy. And if you look closely, you can see all sorts of interesting creatures. Capybaras, emperor tamarinds, armadillos, pumas. Let's see what's around. The Dingle Dangle Jungle. Deep down in the Amazon, there are creatures short and long, speckled ones and stripy ones, small or big and strong. Just like the spectacle bear. Be careful where you wander, or you may be lost for days, for the dingle dangle jungle is a dingly dangly maze. You can see a sloth hanging down. Hmm. Night time. Some creatures like to sleep all day, curled up with eyes shut tight. Then waken when the sun goes down and hunt. Or play all night in the sun. Others are awake all day, basking in the sun, dingling as they dangle and romping as they run. You can see an anteater there with a very long tongue. And there's a capybara Ooh, and an iguana having a bit of a snooze. Some have talons and some have fangs to grab and tear and bite. Some are fierce or savage and can give you quite a fright. Mm. That's a caiman, it's a bit like an alligator or a crocodile. But some are vegetarians who wouldn't hurt a fly. They like to feed on grass and leaves or nuts and fruit on high. Ringing through the trees you'll hear bellows squeals and screeches from birds and bugs and bats and frogs and swinging leaping creatures there's some howling monkeys up there and boy do they howl we have some of those at the melbourne zoo animals live everywhere on trees on earth in air some have feathers some have scales or fur or skin or hair oh there's a river turtle there's a sloth there's a crab eating fox. 
Some have funny noses and some have curly tails. Some have long or sticky tongues or strong sharp claws or nails. I sure do. Some lurk in bogs or rivers or tunnel in the ground. And some live up in the canopy. And some are rarely found with like the Amazonia pink dolphin. The canopy is the top of the tree. Some build less nests in treetops, while some dig long deep burrows. Some make hives or spider webs, and others live in hollows. It's an interesting web nest. Looks like a wasp nest. There's a golden line tremor in there. Deep down in the Amazon, you'll find monkeys, rats, and shrews, pumas, sloths, and marmosets, and armadillos too. Is moving towards the end of the story. Some have spots and some have stripes, some camouflage so well that even when they're really close, nobody can tell. If you look really closely, I'll show you if I can find it here. There's a stick insect down there, a leaf insect, called a catty did, and look just like a leaf. Really good camouflage. That's a coral snake. This is one of my favourite spreads in this book. But some have brilliant colours on their beaks and wings and heads to show off to their friends and foes their yellows, blues and reds. It's Macaw and a toucan. And the dingle dangle jungle beneath the moon and sun. These creatures romp and roll and play, all having lots of fun. It looks like they're having a good time in the jungle. I hope you've had a good time listening to the story. In the back of the book and on my website, there's lots of clues as to the identity of all those animals. My next book is called The Thing That Goes Ping. Maybe next time we get together, I'll show you some of that. Anyway, enjoy the rest of book week, and it's great to be back at school. So have fun, and see you later. Bye.